Alright, so on the internet there are people asking, how do I do multiple pictures and pictures in iMovie? Well, unfortunately, iMovie only allows for two layers, excluding text and audio layers. So you can have two main layers, your original footage and your special effect. But there is a way around this, and I'm going to demonstrate it and how to apply it. First off, click iMovie and click on Preferences. Click on the General tab and make sure Show Advanced Tools box is checked. That way you can use features like Picture in Picture and Green Screen. Next, add in your special effect using the Picture in Picture method I'm sure you're familiar with. I've already done this, so I have my muzzle flash already set up. To prove a point that you need to add the special effects in the correct order, I've also added the minigun barrel. You need to have what you want to accomplish already visualized in your head. I visualize a minigun barrel shooting really fast and with a muzzle flash. If you add the special effects in the incorrect order, you're going to end up with an image like this, where the muzzle flash is covering the barrel. That's going to end up for an awkward looking image in your movie. So when you start with your original image, make sure you add the special effects from the background towards the foreground. Add the special effects that are furthest from the camera first and add the special effects that are closest to the camera last. That way you can end up with an image that looks more correct. So add in your first special effect that is furthest from the camera. So that would be my muzzle flash in this case. Next Export your movie with the highest quality settings you can. I already did this and my video is right here. And as you can see, my muzzle flash is floating in the air. Once that's done, re-import that exported video into your event library. So we scroll down here, here it is. Put that into your timeline. And now we have our muzzle flash with the special effect. But as you can see, it's only one layer. So we have the opportunity to add a second uh, layer, which will be the special effect. So let's add that minigun now. This time I'm going to use green screen instead of picture in picture because my image is mostly green. And let's crop it to the correct size and change its location. And there you have it. You have your minigun barrel shooting your special effect with the muzzle flash. Now if I added the barrel first, I'll just demonstrate that you need to add the special effects in the correct order. This time I'll use picture in picture because the image is already pre-keyed. And as you can see, the barrel is being blocked by the muzzle flash, causing an awkward image. So make sure you add your special effects in the correct order, otherwise some of your project will have to be redone. Now, another complaint people are having is their special effects sometimes come with a black background, like these muzzle flashes here they're not pre-keyed so they have a background I have a tutorial in the description of how to remove these black backgrounds another complaint people are having is when they're adding in green screen footage they end up with some kind of ghost image like this it's not keying out the green as it should I have a tutorial coming up on how to resolve this issue, and I'm going to explain it. And I will put its link in the description. So, thank you for watching. More helpful iMovie tips on the way. And good luck.